Thanks be to your holy name. I've come here to make a short video. And, you know, this is to Elizabeth and all of her bunch, especially to her bunch. We're back into the mode of praying curses on people again, wanting them to die and go to the lowest parts of hell. And y'all, servant 777, getting on there saying, you're either for Almighty Wind and stand with Yeshua, are you stand against him and you're with Satan and you're going to die and go to hell. Okay. This is what I say. Has her prophecies come true? I mean, really come true. With all the praying and all this time, even before I got on and after I've got on, how many, truly, how many have of, of us died? I mean, she's prayed. She's prayed for our death. She's bagged Yahweh for our death, to answer her prayers and to kill us. Some of us in the most gruesome ways, planes falling or and burning and uh, car wrecks and I mean really, really, really severe, severe things that she has prayed. Well, all the people that she's personally called out their names and prayed for these curses to come upon them and them to die. In over two years of praying and getting on your knees and pleading and praying God to kill, has He answered your prayer? No. Not at all. And when you prophesied that certain things is going to happen like immediately, you know, when you told me that that you wanted us, me and my husband, to go with you and your husband and leave the United States because it was immediately going to be destroyed. Specifically, Arkansas was going to be destroyed. But yet, the Father said, do not run, and do not hide to me. Because, you know, you can't run from God's judgment if it's coming. You can't. He, you can go to the depths of hell, and he'll be there. You can go to the heights of heaven, and he'll be there. And one day, judgment is going to come to everyone. To everyone. So, I I I'm saying, where is the fruit of your prophecies? Where is the truth in your prophecies that you prophesied? That is supposed to immediately happen. Not in the near or far future, but like immediately. And it's not happened. It, 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 just, it just has not happened. I have not seen not one of your prophecies ever come true. 
And you may say, oh, well, you know, you don't even prophesy. Well, I have prophesied. I've seen some of the things that the Lord told me to speak come true. But, you know, I know people, some people don't like Perry Stone. But I've listened to Perry Stone for a long time. And he's put out a lot of prophecies. And so far, most of his prophecies come true. And if they haven't come true, they're about to come true. You can see it. Um, so, I, I don't understand. I, I, I really don't understand. There's a, when I used to pray with you, Elizabeth, for my husband's death, and you prayed for your husband's death, and you meant, spent a lot of time pleading and begging God to kill your husband, ex-husband, I mean. And you just never could understand why he wouldn't do it immediately. But one day when I was praying for my ex-husband's death, I got in trouble because the Holy Spirit, the Rukadesh, condemned me and said, how dare you pray for people's death when Yeshua come, Jesus Christ came to give life, but yet you want people to die? Don't you know that you fight against the principalities of the air? Not human beings, not flesh and blood. And he says, do you know that every word you speak and you condemn and pray hurt and harm on other people will come back on you? So, I stopped and said, Father, forgive me, you know, truly forgive me. And then I started praying for life and forgiveness for my ex-husband and all of those that hurt me because the Ruh Kadesh, the Holy Spirit, condemned me and convicted me of such foolishness. But I see that I go to your site and I see what your comments and things and I see especially your servant bless his heart I, he's so deceived so very deceived and you know I don't stand with almighty win no because what you are doing by hating and praying death on people is wrong and it is a sin and furthermore none of it has ever happened ever all of us are still alive but you are praying curses that could come back on you and very soon because you've been doing it for over two years that I know of, before I even come. <sighs> wake up, people. Wake up. Go back, read the prophecies, and show and discern which ones have really been fulfilled. Are all of them for after the bride is taken? I... But the only thing I can agree with you, Elizabeth, on is the bride. And that's because the Holy Spirit taught me, not you, but 
taught me about the bride when I heard the trumpet and seen the vortex in the sky. Because I was a die-hard non-believer in the taking of the bride or the rapture or whatever you guys want to call it, I, I call it the taking of the bride because it's going to be so few that go. But wake up. Wake up. How many of your enemies has really died, Elizabeth? And how long have you prayed for them to die? And you know why God will not hear and answer your prayer? Because it goes totally against God's will. He is the judge of all mankind, not you. He will judge each and every one of us according to His will and His time, not yours. He shows people many things that are about to happen, and these same people He showed beforehand of things that has happened. But I can truly say I see no proof in any of your your videos, any of your things that you've even told me personally that was going to happen. I've, I've waited ever since 2005 waiting for your prophecies to come true. Haven't seen a one of them. Not a one of them. Now, you'll say, oh, I, I, I had a dream back, you know, or prophesied that back, and I'll go back and look at that prophecy, and it doesn't line up with anything that you're trying to say that has already happened. And I'm saying this not only to you, Elizabeth, but for your whole group, because they really do need to wake up, because the time of the end is very close. And we are going to be held accountable for every word that we speak, every thought that we think. And I've tried to get on the subject of giving the message of Yeshua out of his, of, of his soon coming and of his love and his calling out of the people to be ready to prepare themselves in these last days. But once again, I see praying death upon people angrily praying death upon people, wanting to, to die and go to the lowest parts of hell and be tortured forever and ever. Isn't that sad? Isn't that sad, Elizabeth? That you, as a human being, not a God, thank God for that, because if he was God, a lot of us would be in trouble just by living and breathing. But you're standing on the brink of destruction. And time is running out. And time is running out. But I want you to think about it. Really think about it. Who of us has died in a fiery plane crash or a fiery car wreck or a severe heart attack or whatever you pray upon people to die? 
and then you'll turn around and try to say, I didn't do that. Well, it's on your site. Words that you've spoken. Videos that some of your people have made that was so defiled and disgusting with hate and praying vengeance and death upon people. When will you repent? When will you come back to Him before it's too late? That's my question to you. When will you repent and come back before it's too late? When will you guide those other people back to His righteousness and not the hate that you have brought them into? Because, Elizabeth, you are going to be held accountable for every one of their lives that will be lost in all the anger, hate, and bitterness that you, in all your kindness, all your loving mercy, have put that hate upon these people to hate us. You know, the scribes and Pharisees hated Yeshua, Jesus. They even killed him, literally. But it didn't keep him down. The third day, he arose. And you asked me one time, Well, you, you, you preach the same thing I do. Why do they not hate you like they hate me? Because I don't tell them they're going to go to hell if they don't believe me. I don't pray for their death. I don't get upset and angry, you know. I, I put out what I believe. If they want to be accept it and believe it, it's fine. If they don't, that's fine. If they ask me a question, I try to answer it the best I can. In the most nicest way that I can possibly. And not be mad and angry. Because, you know, they have a right to ask. And really, they have that same privilege not to believe uh, if I don't give them the answers that satisfies their curiosity and their need to know. If I cannot provide it, I just pray for them and bless them and love them. So I'm asking you, I'm asking you, do you hear the phone ringing? Yes, you have heard it. It's time to repent and come back in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach.